This is a part two video on uh, creating firewall policies and in this video we will look at providing management access to the SRX firewall. In my previous video I created two zones, one for the internal network called LAN and another for the external network called WAN. And if we log in, we can see these by typing show security zones. We can see these at the very bottom here, the LAN zone and the WAN zone. So for the LAN zone we will enable inbound traffic to the appliance so that we're able to access it for management purposes and to configure how we can remotely manage a device we need to perform two tasks and the first one is to enable system services or to check which ones are enabled and the second one is to specify allowed uh, host inbound traffic at the zone or interface level so to check which system services is enabled we'd enter the following commands uh, run show uh, configuration uh, pipe and we'd match it to um, set system services and display set to display the configuration we can see the configuration uh, for system services here and so um, we can also type set system services with a question mark to enable a particular service from here as well um, to verify let me get rid of this. To verify uh, the host inbound traffic that is enabled on all zones we can use the following command so to show um, sys uh, show security zones and match it to host inbound traffic let's display the configuration here so we can see that here um, so we can see all uh, system services here f uh, enabled for a the trust zone and we can see also the untrust zone the DHCP TFTP here um, what else we can do is um, we can just check the ones for the trust zone as well so if we do show security zones security zone I mean if we type trust so we're focusing on a particular zone here this is good if you've got too many zones and you just want to focus on one particular zone and you can just see what's uh, uh, enabled for the trust zone here as I've already got a zone called the land zone we can uh, verify what's uh, enabled on that and we can see no system services protocols are enabled for the LAN zone. So what we can do is we can define some system services and protocols for the LAN zone and we can do this by typing edit security zones security zone LAN so we're in the LAN hierarchy now we type set do a question mark and use the host inbound traffic option question mark again use the system services option question mark again and specify some services let's go for ping let's go for SSH HTTP SNMP and etc you can go on and specify all your services from here and if we do a show we can see under because we're in the LAN hierarchy the security zone hierarchy for LAN uh, the LAN zone we can see host inbound traffic services for the LAN zone so ping SH HTTP SNMP and we can see the interface bound to FE002 uh, we can also do this at the interface level and to do this at the interface level we we'll type uh, set uh, security zones security zone um, LAN interfaces um, FE002 host inbound traffic question mark system services question mark again so we can see the system services uh, we can enable for that particular interface so let's go for uh, SH and we can also look at the protocols as well protocols question marks so we can add RIP and 
OSPF for example uh, rip let's go for OSPF and if we do show now we can see uh, for the LAN zone we've got the host inbound traffic serv system services ping sh http snmp and for the particular interface bound to the LAN zone we've got some uh, si well we've got one system service sh and we've got some protocols rip and ospf enabled as well